going on everybody today big day for the Cressida getting rid of that trashy automatic transmission throwing in a nice W58 at a Mark III Supra the car in there already and we're about to about to dig in so join us for this uh, fun and exciting adventure changing over these drive shafts here throw the the front end of the Supra on the back end of the Cresta drive shaft and yeah we're pretty close to getting this back in <laughs> So when you go to wire up your transmission, you need to do the neutral start switch, which is this black and white wire, and you pretty much just put them together, throw a butt connector on there, and then heat shrink over it. This blue wire is for the reverse lighting, and so is this black wire. All of the color wires, except for the blue on the other harness, are not used. And then from your W58, hopefully you got the wiring with it, you're going to connect these to the blue and black wires. Thin wires, that is. The black will go to yellow, and the blue will go to red. So I'm going to connect these up real quick and I'm not going to heat shrink them yet since I want to make sure the wiring works on the car before I set it in stone so I'm just going to crimp on some butt connectors here and then we will be ready to throw the transmission and there you have it here is the full wiring for the W58 swap so these two go into the engine, this goes into the transmission, and yeah, so on your left you've got your neutral safety switch, the black and white wires, then the blue goes to the red wire of the transmission, and the black wire goes to the yellow wire of the transmission. All of these I'm just going to tap off and uh, get rid of. So. There you have it. Here is a full diagram, I guess, of the wiring harness. So, let me know if you have any questions. So right now I'm prepping to weld the diff. Got it cracked open here. Just need to give it a drain and a good clean. But essentially welding the diff will have it instead of these sort of opposite directions when losing traction. As you can see, they rotate one way with the input of the drive shaft, but if one is stops, the other one keeps going. Obviously that's for when it turns. So I'm essentially going to be coming into these gears here that spin both of these and just locking them together so that they always spin together like that. So should be a fun little job here and uh, looking forward to it. One, one more step down and soon we should should be drifting, so let's get to it.
I have gotten started on the coilover work. I've got the front struts off <clears throat> with the hubs. I'm just waiting on a press to uh, get the ball joint and the tie rod off and then I will be replacing those as well. Thank you. 